The government is warning residents who remain inside the danger zone around the Taal volcano that they will be physically removed if they insist on staying in their homes. Authorities are also considering a one-time evacuation of residents' livestock. Here's the story. Officials from the NEDA, OCD, and DILG hopped on a chopper from Camp Fernando in Lipa, Batangas to inspect areas affected by the Taal volcano eruption. Almost all houses within the 14-kilometer danger zone are covered in ash. Authorities also spotted empty fish pens. The volcano island resembled an empty desert. But officials saw a few plants growing again in the middle of the ash field. Mga nakikita kami na yung sagingan ay medyo nagkakaroon na ng usbong ng panibagong dahon. Taal's crater continues to emit smoke, but it's far less compared to how much was going out last week. Still, alert level 4 remains because of the danger of an explosive eruption. Officials, though, saw a number of people inside No Man's Island. Because of this, the DILG said they will again implement forced evacuation. And if residents insist on staying, the Interior Department warns that they won't hesitate to bodily remove them from the area. We will inf uh, do maximum persuasion, and if that is not uh, yet uh, effective, we will, uh, we will be forced to do other actions. If, if possible, uh, to physically pull them out from the areas, uh, if necessary, just to save their lives. Officials are also considering launching a one-time evacuation of all animals and livestock within the danger zone to safer ground. They said this is the reason why residents kept coming back to the danger zone. But officials admitted that they would have to seek Fivox's clearance first before carrying out this activity.